Hello, I'm Ricky Lee, and today on the watch list, I'm joined by Mike Jones, CEO of Delta Gold Technologies. The company has just begun trading on the Aquis growth market under the ticker DGQ, marking an important milestone as it advances its work in quantum computing hardware. It's an ambitious space and one where execution and clear milestones really matter. Michael, welcome to the watch list. Thanks very much. Great to be here. So, Mike, tell us at a high level, what problem is Delta Gold Technologies trying to solve with quantum computing? Well, we have a very clear objective, and that's to innovate in creating a stable and uh, scalable qubit. And a qubit is at the very root of a quantum computer. Everybody knows about bits in your basic computer, a zero and a one. A qubit is either a zero, a one, or something in between at the same time. It's a very hard thing to get your head around. But there are a lot of players in the world working on quantum computing, have had shown, shown some success that quantum computing can be done. But still, the basic level of physics of what a qubit is going to be made from and with is still elusive. Um, and so we have some of the smartest people in the world working on that very basic physics concept. Amazing. So looking ahead then, 12 to 18 months, what are some of the key measurable milestones that you've set for delivering a proof of concept device? So, I mean, we're really even before a device, I think I would say, we're really at that basic physics level and protecting some intellectual property. So 12 months from now, we're looking to put together protection around our, innova our innovation and our intellectual property. We're working closely with um, University of Toronto in Canada and Professor Harry Ruda um, is the principal investigator, one of the leaders in the world. In fact, he's actually chairing the global conference on quantum computing in Bern, uh, Switzerland. This summer, he's the chair of the whole conference. Um, and so that's 12 months, and I would say 18 months from now, we're also looking to collaborate with other universities and world-leading academics. We think that there's a unique space to play in where you can actually go to some of the top professors in the world through research partnership, uh, put that together into collaboration. So that's the next milestone we're really looking for. Brilliant, sounds exciting. Um, so quantum computing is a multi-billion dollar industry and it's dominated by some big players. So how does a smaller company like Delta Gold Technologies position itself to make a meaningful impact in such a competitive landscape? It's such a great question, actually. Thank you, Ricky. I think that, uh, you know, there's big companies like Amazon, Microsoft, uh, uh, Rigetti. They're, they're spending literally billions of dollars a year in this space. And they've certainly had some success showing that quantum calculations can go hundreds of thousands of times faster than a regular computer. However, as I said at the beginning, the stable qubit that really gives the quantum advantage is still elusive. So we have a place to play um, in this space where creating a stable, scalable qubit or an innovation even towards that could be enormously interesting to the uh, bigger players. And we look at either partnerships or licensing as we go forward with our technology. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Mike. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks for the questions. So once again, that was Mike Jones, CEO of Delta Gold Technologies. For more on the company's listing and quantum technology roadmap, visit deltagoldtech.com. That's all for this episode of The Watchlist. I'm Ricky Lee. Make good choices today.